Hello, so uh, yeah, this is just a quick little update on the actual museum itself. I'll probably do another video this week on this channel just looking at something. For example, the Brule and Cure Type 4420 Statistical Distribution Analyzer, of course. But yeah, it's been quite an interesting week. More has happened this week than has happened for the past two months. Uh, let me tell you, it's been quite a frustrating experience trying to uh, start up a museum in these times. So it's finally progressing this week and the building work is pretty much done. I need to do some painting, which is gonna happen, I don't know, for the next couple of days. And then there'll be this room that you're looking at, which is finally on its way. And there's another room and there's another room that I need to do some painting. Hopefully that'll take a couple of days. And then it's finally cleaning the place up and then sorting out the fire safety stuff. Oh, how exciting. And then after that, well, it's pretty much done. It's just a case of filling the place up with oddities and stuff and just getting on with it. So let me tell you about why there's been such a slow progression. Well, it's a little bit annoying. So basically there was um, a couple of partition walls uh, right behind you. You can see when you stepped back at the start of the video, you could see where there was a partition wall. And basically these couldn't go down until there was an old leaky aircon unit on one of them had to be taken out. and. You know, lo and behold, I can't take an aircon unit out because it's uh, got to get degassed and stuff like that. And in Corona times, when you're trying to get an aircon unit done, things like that, well, you're going to be waiting for quite some time. I personally waited for that job for six weeks. <laughs> six weeks it took for somebody to come and degas that machine. And then after that, it was a case of waiting for an awesome builder, by the way. We managed to finish this room off and get it pretty big and reverberant, and get it pretty damn reverberant, got to sort that out. So that means I can finally get it painted and get it on its way to, you know, being a finished, a finished exhibition space. Still fine tuning the actual details of what the heck this museum is and stuff like that. And I have a feeling the first few months are gonna be reasonably slow. But lo and behold, the timing may just happen that I decide to get it open and ready and running and restrictions get tighter and you know, not even a small amount of people are able to enter. So then what the heck's supposed to happen? I'm really trying to figure out how to get this done and when to get it open. I really want to get it done and open as soon as possible, but the problem is, is what's going to happen in the next couple of months? Is uh, are places like this going to be allowed to continue to stay open? And um, me and my partner Mel, we're working on a lot of other things like trying to get funding and stuff for residences and this and that and the other, and you've heard us mentioning that. And this reverb is pretty big. But yeah, it's just a tiny little update to show you that it is progressing and it's gonna move very quickly now. Finally, this room and the other room next door to this is looking like this. So it's just a case of cleaning it up and bish bosh bash, we're onto the next step, which is another bureaucratic hurdle. But bureaucratic hurdles are in place and I've realized now because if they weren't, then the world would just go absolutely tits up. But anyway, if you're interested in more updates about this museum and the progression, please go and check out the Patreon because I do vlog updates nearly every other day at the minute and uh, you know, it's not gonna change much. So I talk about it a lot and how it goes and the progression and you can really see, if you go over the last couple of months, the progression between um, like uh, just what it used to look like to what it looks like now. And you can't beat cable trays. In fact, cable trays are quite, interesting because I thought cable trays were going to be quite expensive but you could get a whole cable tray brackets and all for about 15 pounds and the link for the cable tray website is below if you're actually interested because I was quite flabbergasted at about how cheap it is to keep your cables tidy on your roof. So let me know if you have any ideas still trying to fine tune it and in the next month hopefully it's going to look like a museum should do and then it'll just be a case of figuring out when and how the heck to open in a time like this. I really don't know. Anyway, I'm Sam and this is the Museum of Everything Else and I'll speak to you soon. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see uh, some more videos. Like, like on this machine.